Now, as we continue to look at weapons that got nice buffs in update 21, nice, I thought next up I'd check out how the Ak Bronco Prime feels because some of you had said on one of my previous live streams that it was a completely new powerhouse secondary and definitely worth checking out and honestly you were feckin' right. So how you all doing? Like I've said, this is the new and improved Ak Bronco Prime pistols which is now a mastery rank 11 sidearm. So the Ak Bronco Prime is a pair of shotgun sidearms that resemble a pair of kettles or kettlebells, I guess primed kettlebells for when you need to walk out brah, you know when you need to lift for when Hydrate needs to walk out and get extra thick. Now update 21 changed the Ak Bronco Prime's base damage from 20 up to 50 and its damage fall off now begins at 9 meters and ends at 18. So anything closer than 9 meters will take full damage to the face but beyond that the damage will start to weaken up to 18 meters where it will deal the least amount of damage possible. But let's be real here for a minute, you're not exactly going to snipe with a shotgun in a game are you? I mean wait what do you mean the Tiger's Prime is the best sniper in the game? I've never even heard of it. <laughs> Now this change to the base damage of the Ak Bronco Prime alone turns it into a mid to top tier sidearm and it's not quite up there with the Euphona Prime or with the Sycorus Prime or even with the Axe Stilettos but it's also not far off and because it has a pretty strong Riven disposition I think that with the right Riven equipped maybe a reload speed and a bit of extra base damage it would be an incredibly powerful weapon. Now as you can see in the simulacrum footage with Trinity in this video, against unarmored targets it can kill a level 145 corrupted heavy unit in about 2 shots, maybe 3. Not many sidearms in the game can do that right now and now the Ak Bronco Prime can. I mean think about it for a minute, 2 months ago if I had said that the Ak Bronco Prime was a potential end game weapon, you all would have fucking laughed at me, stupid spud. Ak Bronco Prime shite. But now look at it, look at the weapons that got buffs in update 21 along with this one, they are all now seriously good. I still wish the Accurate was one of those weapons to receive a buff and hopefully it will in the future because I'm honestly never going to forget that thing and how badly it got nerfed when damage 2.0 hit. Now the Ak Furies and the Deck Furies got a decent buff, the Piranha, the DiQ, the Sycorus which you've already seen and of course now these as well and it's given us a lot more option when running missions as to what weapons we want to bring with us and the Ak Bronco Prime is definitely a set of weapons worth taking now or at least worth leveling and sticking multiple formats on to get the maximum amount of damage out of them. Now I would warn you guys to be careful about buying Rivens for some of these weapons that got buffs in update 21 simply because the disposition on them might get changed down the line because the weapons on their own are very powerful so for them to still have strong Riven dispositions seems a little bit off and if history has taught us anything then I would expect some of those dispositions to change but Hopefully they won't. Now this is my current Ak Bronco Prime build. Like I said I have a Riven on mine but it's only multi shot and heat damage so you could of course change that out for any kind of an elemental mod or reload mod or whatever you yourself preferred. I think personally I would prefer a boost to base damage and reload speed or even magazine size or even punch through on my Riven mod but that's just me personally. So if you're on PC let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new and improved Ak Bronco Prime with their new damage model, whether you like them or not. If you're on console can you wait to get your hands on these as well like the Sycorus Prime the fact that it got a really nice buff as well. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video or of course don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always thanks very much for watching.